Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyric. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Leo. We'll use some oracle cards to get an overall feeling for the reading. I'll also use tarot to get past, present, and future energies. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If after viewing the video you feel guided to book a personal reading with me, I'll have those details in my description box. So messages for Leo. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. I'm just going to keep going until I feel to stop. Okay. Ooh, wow. The Sacred Serpent. I'm getting Kundalini energy with this card you could be experiencing um, a kundalini awakening which means um, an awakening of all of your chakras so starting from the root chakra all the way to the crown very very powerful energy here very um life-changing energy okay uh at brand new perspectives new insights um, new outcomes as well as a result of what's happening internally also um good health and um, good fortune as well, okay? Uh, let's get one more. The heart chakra, excellent. So when our heart chakra is um, in alignment with, just when our heart chakra is um, healthy and and um, just when our heart chakra is um, healthy, that it, it helps, um, It it's really like the, um, the, like the metropolitan area of all the other chakras. So um, all of the other chakras have the ability to flow freely, to um, uh, to, to exchange energy information, to um, to just move about and remain um, remain healthy. And so um, this is an excellent um, energy, Leo. Um, you could be having a spiritual awakening at this time. You could um, have recently really, I feel, I feel, I really feel, I sense this very um, deliberate, open-minded, open-hearted person. This person that has um, gone through um, quite a bit, but this person has also dedicated um, their life to healing, has dedicated their life to happiness, has dedicated their life to a sense of purpose. And I feel that this person wasn't always like that. Like this person definitely has seen the darkness this person definitely has lived in the darkness but because of that this person has been able to um this person was granted um a gift of change and this person took that opportunity they saw it for what it was and they um and they moved they didn't stall they didn't um say no because we have free will so just because um you know, some, just because someone offers us the cheesecake doesn't mean we have to eat it. But this person um, recognized um, their they recognized the moment and they and they went for it. And now they're in this momentum of change. They're in this momentum of extremely um, intense uh, growth. And this person is continuing to um, to bloom and to flourish and to change and to heal. So, um, yeah, it's so good, Leo. That's excellent. That's really good. So these aren't the ones I wanted to use, though. Which ones did I shuffle earlier? Was it these ones? I guess so. Okay. So messages for Leo. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Leo. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages. Let me take that one. Messages. For Leo, what do they need to know for their highest good? Okay, we've got two. Excellent. Oh my goodness, beautiful energy. Ah, so good. Um, so you, the first card I, that you got is protection and cave. So this energy or this person um, has known the times of, of um, extending the energy and, and giving it out, and then also when it was time to pull back and um, and protect oneself, okay? 
that it's not always um, the best thing to stay abreast and to be open into everybody's other into other energies and to just always be expending your energy. That sometimes you need to um, withdraw and reconnect to um, your body, reconnect to source, reconnect to the breath, to what is uh, to what grounds you. Okay, and that's what I'm feeling with that. Um, the next card you have is creation and water. And then you also have light and sun. So I'm getting here um, the merging of fire and water energies, which is a very um, difficult thing to, I'm getting alchemy here, that um, it is difficult to, um, if you have fire and water side by side and you wanted to blend them together without extinguishing one or um, changing the other one, how would you do that? It seems like impossible, right? So it's not the literal concept of that, but the spiritual concept of that, of, of blending fire with complete opposite, um, uh, complete opposite uh, principles or um, properties as water. And then the two of them merging together, converging together and remaining uh, in, their, um, in their true form as fire and water and not being... Um, uh, taken away from so the um so what i see with this leo is i see that um you had your dark side and you had your dark experiences because i feel that you're still going to have dark experiences moving forward but that very very the very darkness that you were involved in is is something that you're not going to um experience anymore because of your ability to um hold on to that darkness and or that fire and um, meld it with the water part of you, the light, which, uh, or it's in reverse actually, but you understand what I'm saying. And being able to um, alchemize those two energies without them um, being separated. Like you can so always recognize what the darkness is and always so recognize what the light is. And you know how to man, you know how to go through it now. You know how to manage it. You know what it looks like. You know what to avoid. You know, um, uh, you know, you, you know all about these things now. And so you're enlightened and you can move forward. So let's pull the tarot for you. So let's get messages for Leo. We got the eight of wands messages for leo what do they need to know for their highest good messages for leo what do they need to know for their highest good messages for leo messages for leo okay and you've got the five of wands Messages for Leo. You got the Four of Swords. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Got a couple extra. Very interesting energy here. Very um, more detailed and um, truthful of the dark that you did experience, okay? So, um, we're going to leave that here. So, in the recent past, you have the Eight of Wands. Walking away, emotionally pulling back. So, in, the, in your journeys and in your awareness, um, you've known... And you've been able to recognize when um, a relationship isn't working for you, when a career isn't working for you, when um, you're doing things unnecessarily. You you recognize when you're people pleasing now. You recognize um, when you're giving um, too much of yourself. You know when to pull back. And I, I'm saying all of this very broadly because I, I I'm I'm pretty um, I'm pretty certain. That um, because in your out, because some of the energy down here is uh, a little bit negative, but I'm still overall like I feel like you're above it though, like you're sitting above above that, like you like you, you're, like you're sitting on a towel, like and you're elevated and you're what is that called when you're levitating, like you are really um, you just have a higher perspective, like it's like it can't 
bother you anymore and it doesn't bother you anymore so this stuff down here just talks a little bit more about it but um you're not it's not really um bothering or concerning you at this time okay in your present energy you have the five of wands the four of swords and the seven of wands so you know what it feels like to be stabbed in the back you know what um, fake friends feels like you know what it's like to a uh, perp a front trying to um you know what it feels like to um, be involved in a friend group and um, pretend to be friends with people because you didn't know yourself that back then. You didn't know who you were. And you were um, seeking outside of yourself to find that um, internal identity, okay? But this was before your Kundalini awakening, okay? Or this is how, or this is how. Or it's coalescing with it, rather, okay? Like, this is part of that fire and water energy. Like, this is something that's all brimming inside of you. But, um, yeah. Like, this is something that's brimming inside of you. And um, it, it doesn't have a hold of you. But this is something in your present energy that I... I, I I feel that you have been dealing with because it's in the present position. So, and um, it's the five of wands, the four of swords, and the seven of swords. So, to say that it's not affecting you is a little bit incorrect. But it's something that you are dealing with, but you're dealing with it from abroad, okay? You're dealing with it um, with this new, with a new set of tools, with um, gifts from spirit, with um, a different conscience, okay is basically what's going on here in your outcome energy you have the seven of cups so um, um some sort of illusion or choices or, or some sort of um there's still um some indecisions that you're face i feel that it's an indecision that you're facing at this time and i'm going to pull some clarifiers on that okay so tell me more about leo's indecision that's way too many tell me more about leo's indecision Tell me more about Leo's indecision. Okay. The three of swords. The eight of wands. We're going to get one more. Tell me more about Leo's. Oh, wow. The ten of, or the ten of swords and the world card. I knew it. So it's just that you, um, in the darkness... Just because we um, have a spiritual awakening or we have kundalini awakening or uh, we're just enlightened doesn't mean that um, we get to avoid um, the three of swords, okay? It doesn't mean that we don't get the ten of swords. But there's just, or the eight of wands. Oh no, the eight of wands is a good card, but she, this, this eight of wands has me a little bit nervous because she has, a, there's an arrow coming in. Um, like, like to just be care, just to be wary of, um, conflict. Okay. To be, um, to be on the offense. Okay. Just to be a ready in advance. Okay. Is what I'm getting with this eight of wands card. Um, cause you've been, and you, and you are, you are very much prepared for that because of all of your experiences in the dark. Okay. But this, um, these three, the three of swords and the 10 of swords for me in this reading really do just detail, um, some of the struggles that you've had in your past. Some of the, um, the, the, some, it's part of the reason that you are in this Kundalini awakening energy. Okay. And there's nothing to be ashamed of about that. And there's nothing to, um, to judge yourself about that it's uh, amazing and it's beautiful and, and wonderful. So, um, yeah. And you have the world card and the outcome energy uh, manifesting big changes for yourself, a brand new world, a new perspective, a new path, new people in your life, a new job if you want. Uh, just um, a lot of a lot of really good things coming for for you i, I know that i mentioned um good luck and good health definitely an abundance of good luck and good health so those are all the messages that i have for you leo i i'm sorry that i, I sometimes it's hard for me to talk and i get um flustered and i get nervous talking in front of people and i'm trying to practice um allowing myself to communicate with people it's something that it's a personal struggle that i have but thank you for listening and um and uh i hope that you love the reading take it easy